Sharon, if I could bring you back in here. Um, now, Barbara wrote a piece about um, taking control of your income. Mm. And then you also added a contribution, another contribution, which was um, giving 10% to a worthy cause. Mm. Um, could you bring those two together, taking control of your income and also giving 10% to a worthy cause. Uh, why, why is that important? Uh, why should we do it? Yeah. And how can um, we do great. that in this crisis time? Yeah. Yeah. Crisis so time. What, everything that the ladies have said so far is taking control of your income. Absolutely. It's actually looking at what IT said and saying, what, 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 do, I, what do I bring in? What do yeah. I have that's that's now available it's looking at what linda said about diversifying if i don't have sufficient how can i diversify it's looking at what uh, colette said and writing everything down and, and seeing where the fat where can i cut the fat so it's really saying do i have sufficient without mm -hmm. getting myself in debt could yeah. i you know because when people find that they have a lack of mm. uh, of income coming in now they some we can sometimes make bad choices yeah. should i borrow yeah. should i just go and get another credit card should i you yeah. know um uh, i know in lots of communities we have these things called partner oh, and man. i know and uh, yeah. there's lots of different names for it in different communities yeah. um yeah. and people will do that and that's great Again, I said to someone the other day who had a partner, I said, that's great. You've got a partner. That's fantastic. You're putting away, you're paying, what, £20? She said, yeah, it's costing me £200 a month. Into it, but I know when I could get it. I said, did you ever think of investing that £200 every month so that you're getting a rate of return? She said, well, actually... That would be great, but then how do people in the community benefit? Those mm. who can't get access to loans, those who might not. So I said, well, mm. the same people that are that you're supplying are the same people that are putting into the pot. Into it. Mm. Yeah, you're not. You, this is not you just loaning out money. These are you're loaning money to people who are also contributing to the pot. Yeah. So I would say maybe one of the things that we need to educate ourselves on is not to lose some of our traditions, but to find out how can we make sure that they work for everyone. Yeah. How can we make sure that you're still investing, that you're still yeah. doing what IT said, that you're still Love making it. sure that. Yeah. Brenda talked about your fin and Joyce, what Joyce, how do we make sure that we have all of these things going on mm -hmm. for us so that the income that's coming in is going to not just be for today, but it's yeah. going to support us for our long term future. One of the things that one of our coaches um, and uh, is a really, really special guy um, and his name is Jeff Letts. And he mm -hmm. said uh, that in order to help the poor, make sure you're not one. Absolutely. Mm. The, best I love way that. To, the best way to help the poor is to make sure you're not one. So in order for you to supply other people, make sure you've got your own house in order yeah. so that you mm. can give from what you have. You're not giving yeah. out black, you're giving from what you have. So one of the things I talk about uh, very often is how we give, how do we make sure? And if you look at some of the most wealthiest people in this world, in our society today, are people who give from what they have. And they yeah. started off giving from the time they didn't have much to where mm. they're giving now. And we hear about them all the time. I don't need to, to name them. They're countless people who mm. give. Churches give. People give to their tithes. They give to offerings. Yeah. They give to mm. charities. They give to their mosques. Yeah. You know, people give a lot. And I think one of the things that makes people special is when we see the need in our community and when we mm. put our house in order so that we can then now be a benefit to some. To Absolutely. Some and yeah. we talk about frequently is the 10, 10, 10, 70 principle. And it's a great okay. principle to live by. You live off 70% of your, of your earnings and 10% of it, 10, one of the 10% is supposed to go towards charitable giving. 
could okay. be a tithe, it could be to a charity. There's things going on in Ukraine. Haiti mm. still hasn't completely come back together mm. since its disaster. Over, you know, uh, uh, eight years ago, we still need to be giving to communities like Haiti mm. and also mm. to our local communities. There's yeah. no people sleeping on the streets rough. We've just come out of a pandemic where people were given housing and suddenly they're back out on the streets again. Yeah. What are we doing to ensure that that's not part of our community, that we're giving back to society? And I believe really, really passionately that one of the things that we should do is when we get our own financial house in order and we build a strong foundation, mm -hmm. one of the things we then do is make sure that we're giving the savings, that we're investing, that we're doing personal development, that mm -hmm. we've locked in that emergency fund, but that we're also giving something back to our community. Mm -hmm. And and again, yeah. just like everybody said, start small. Nobody yeah, says absolutely. Could be five percent mm -hmm. of your earnings. Could start with three percent. But you know, getting into a habit means starting and start mm -hmm. when you can and start giving back something, and you will see the rewards. It may not come straight back to you, but within your community, you will start mm -hmm. to see things, yeah. little seeds blossom. So be a seed in your community and plant some financial, uh, uh, some, some, some financial education to yeah. support people with your money. Yeah. It's just, wow. they're, they're, it's just they're, more golden. There is mm. so much here. Yeah. Um, you know, Maybe maybe it was always going to be a challenge getting all of this information into one show. Maybe we're talking about a series here. Mm. We'll, 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 we'll see what happens. But yeah. uh, ladies, thank you so very much for your insight, your wisdom, yeah. and those 10 essential tips yeah. that we, we absolutely need for 2023. Yeah. Um, listen, if you haven't yet read the article, it's on page 96 mm. of issue number six. It of starts Pitch on page Black. 96. Well, it starts <laughs> on page 96, um, and it's an absolutely brilliant read. Uh, mm. Make sure you go and read that. Mm. Uh, and ladies, thank you so much for all the great work you're doing as financial educators. Mm. You know, there's, there's a, a, a scripture in the Bible that says we perish because of lack of knowledge. Yeah. Uh, and I thank you that you are, I've probably paraphrased it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Your version. Uh, my version. <laughs> uh, the, the, so thank you so much for all the work that you're doing yeah. out there, mm. uh, educating us, uh, encouraging us and enlightening us mm. uh, of what to do with our money. Mm. Because money is easily one of the most important things in our lives. And sadly, one of the things that we're most ignorant about yeah. in our lives. And mm -hmm. with the work that you are doing, uh, we know that that will change. So yeah. thank you so much. We're cheering you on. Indeed. We're celebrating you. And we're challenging ourselves uh, to be better with our money as individuals and as a community. So thank you so very much. Um, uh, if you want to get in touch with these ladies, mm -hmm. uh, get in touch with us and we'll gladly point you in the right direction. So mm. thank you very much, ladies, for being part of the thank Pitch Black unboxing show, mm -hmm. and hope to see you again. Yeah, we thank will. Thank you.